point number two. Okay. Aqasamuhu What he's talking about here, the author mentions now, now we know something is speech. If I say to you, إِذَا ذَهَبَ Ahmed, If Ahmed went, or if, if Ahmed goes. Yeah. Is that speech? No. Why? Because it's not complete. It's not complete. What if I say, ذَهَبَ أَحْمَدُ إِلَى السُّوْقِ Or إِلَى الْمَسْجِدِ yeah. Ahmed went to the masjid. Is that speech? Yeah. So whenever you find speech in Arabic language, you're going to find that it is made up of three categories of words. Any word in that speech will either be one of these three. There's no extra, only three types of words. So he says here, Okay, three. What are they? Ismun, Fi'lun, and Harfun. Ja'a li ma'ana. Ja'a li ma'ana. Li ma'ana. Okay. So, any word. So if I say, look. Dhahaba Ahmed ila al-suq. Or ila al-masjid. Ahmed went to the masjid. Dhahaba is what? Fi'l. Ahmed? Ism. Ila harf good harf jar is a harf okay masjid ism so you're never gonna have any word that makes up a speech that is part of speech in Arabic except that it's one of these three categories so it's aqsamuhu aqsamu al kalam thalathatun is three when you do through the sharh when you go through the proper explanation you're gonna hear something different here there's gonna be something that is gonna be explained but for now, just understand what he's saying. Anything that falls under speech, the words that make up speech will either be ism or a fi'l or a harf ja'ali ma'ana. Write that down, please. Oh, well, let me tell you. Ism is a word that has a meaning in and of itself and is not connected to a time frame. Like Ahmed. When I say the word Ahmed, you understand what it means, it has a meaning. If I say Al-Masjid, you understand what it means. But it's not connected to past, present or future. Fi'l is a word that has a meaning in and of itself and is connected to a time frame. Like Dhahaba is a fi'l. It has a meaning, Dhahaba, he went. And it's connected to a time, the past. Okay? Or Yadhabu, it's connected to the present. Okay. And Harf Ja'ali Ma'ana is a word or a letter that has a meaning or that points to a meaning in something else. So ila by itself too, but to what? There has to be something else with it. To the masjid. If I say tahta, under, tahta what? Shajar. Under the shajar or under the table, okay? So that's the definitions of those three words. Ism, it has a meaning in and of itself and it's connected to it, it's not connected to a time. Fi'il has a meaning in and of itself and it's connected to a time. Harf points to a meaning in something else. Okay? And Ja'ali Ma'ana is different from the harf that ha didn't come with a meaning. So for example, Alif or Hamza, does it have a meaning? Yes. It turns a statement into a question. Hadha Baytun, this is a house. Ahadha Baytun, is this a house? So it has a meaning. Okay, what about Ba? Ba has a meaning. It's to use for, to take oath. Billahi. Yes? What about ta? No. Tallahi. It's, a, it's an oath as well. What about tha? Tha, no meaning. It's not with a ma'ana. So this differentiates from the huruf al-mabna. Al-mabna are those letters that are used to build something, to build a word. And huruf al-ma'ana are those letters that have meaning in of themselves as well. Okay, so anyway, that's the definition of the word, this part, this part of speech, harf. It points to the meaning in something else. Take a minute to write that down, inshallah, with the example.